How's it going YouTube? Chris here, my home theater. Got a brand new video for you today. Uh, but first of all, I wanna thank everybody that's uh, supported uh, the video and watched the video that I posted. Uh, it's been a week ago now. That video is my second highest video as far as views. It is the most with likes. Uh, but that video has only been on there a week. My video that has the most views has been on there for over a year. So I want to thank everybody that's watched that. Uh, one thing that I want to cover uh, before I get to the video is I, I, I try not to meander a lot. And uh, if you don't know what that means, try not to ramble. I do try to get to the point. I try to uh, just give you what I'm trying to say. And, uh, and the reason why I'm saying this is I get some comments and I try, because my channel is small, I try to uh, reply to everybody that has commented. And especially if they ask the question, I, I wanna reply. A lot of the questions that I get is stuff that are covered in the video. I don't mind replying and I will. But one thing that I would like is uh, watch the video all the way. Uh, that helps the channel. That definitely helps because I know YouTube uh, they know when you scan and I get uh, what the percentage is and how many watch minutes it is on per video. So if you could help me out, watch the video all the way through, uh, that would help my channel out a lot. Definitely like the video. That will help the channel out a lot. And subscribe. That, that All those helps my channel out. I'm on my way to a thousand subscribers. I'm like 521 right now. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for being good to me and, and subscribing to my channel. I try to give you some weekly content. I took a little time off this week from, from videos. I had one that I want to do. Just, just never could get it together. Uh, but anyway, like I said, this is the first video since my tour. Uh, that, that was a long video. I try not to be long on my videos, but that one deserved... You know, when you do a theater tour, it needs to be long because you got a lot to cover. I still left things out. So I tried to reply back to people asking questions. So anyway, we got that out of the way. What I wanted to show today is I had a lot of comments throughout this build. What are you gonna do? Room EQ wizard tells you you need to put subwoofers in the back. Are you gonna put subwoofers in the back? And my comment it always were, I, I, my answer always was that I probably would at some point. Well, what I did is I ordered me a, a long RCA cable and I wanted to try that thing out. I wanted to try it to see what, how it would sound, uh, what Room EQ told me after I moved the subs. I'm still working on the fine tuning of it, but let me show you what I did. Let me pan this camera around. So I put one of my clips, I put the, R2, both of my RW12s in the back. I got one there. And I got one there. Now I got that cord run all the way, all the way up to the front into my receiver or to the mini DSP. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to buy a longer cable and I'm gonna have to go up through the ceiling and I'm gonna try to come out the wall, uh, put a wall plate next to the, over where my sub and stuff's at. Just try to keep everything looking neat. Uh, so I wanted to cover that with you guys. Uh, what I found is it w really wasn't surprised uh, how it sounded. It didn't surprise me any. I thought it sounded tremendous before, but by moving the subs to the back, I still got the two in the front. I got the R120s in the front or the 120SW, whatever they call. I got the, those two in the front and the two RW12s in the back. Now I'm telling you, it made a tremendous difference. Where I had a null at my seating position, it that totally went away. That went away. So there is no, I don't have a dead spot there. So I'm still working on the timing and the crossovers and I'm still kind of tweaking things. But my initial reaction is, wow, it made a big difference. And I knew it would. And like I said, I was getting comments. People asked me where I, was I gonna do that? And, and I did. So I'm telling you guys, uh, if you got more than one sub, hey, if you got the room, stick them in the back. I mean, I, I really, so far, I am pleased with how it sounds. Uh, I know when I get this thing dialed in, 
it is going to sound a whole lot better. And, uh, hey, maybe I'll get two more stubs and, and shove them in behind the screen and have a, a 9.6.4 until I can get my new receiver. I am going to upgrade my receiver. Hopefully in the next month or two, I was looking at 8,500 and I still may get 8,500 uh, Denon. Uh, the 6,700, the new one is, is, is real enticing to get. So I'm, I'm kind of on the fence. The 8,500 is going to cost me more, but they are going to upgrade that to DTSX Pro. But I don't know if it's going to be a free update or you're going to have to pay for it. That's neither here nor there. The 8,500 is the flagship. So I'm kind of up in the air about that, but uh, regardless, uh, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about, show you what I did initially. I just did this yesterday, moved the subs, and uh, so far I'm pleased. Uh, I'll be upgrading the subs at some point. I don't know what I'm going to do as far as what I'm uh, uh, subs I'm going to upgrade to. Got my eye on a few. Got to wait till the money gets there for that. I know the subs are real expensive. The uh, receiver's gonna cost me a lot. I wanna upgrade my amps. Hey, I gotta do a little bit at a time, guys. But anyway, hey, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, try to bring some more weekly content to you. Uh, like I said, I took a little time off this week. Uh, maybe I have some new videos coming up the weekend. Uh, so anyway, if you like this kind of content, like, subscribe, share, and uh, hopefully, Again, soon we're going to have some, some reviews coming, some new equipment coming in that we can do some reviews on. I'm working on that. I'm trying hard, but I need y'all's help. Oh, also, I about slipped my mind, 1,000 subscribers. I am trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. We got a giveaway. Uh, one thing that I kind of had in the works that I wanted to give away for 1,000 subscribers, don't know if that's going to work out. But what I am going to give away, I'll go ahead and announce it now. I'm going to give away one of those U-Mics. Uh, I guess it's the Mini DSP U-Mic. I want to give one of those away. I think they're around 80 to 100 bucks. It just depends on uh, where you get it from. But that's what I want to give away for 1,000 subscribers. So, hey, let's get there. Uh, my channel has grown in the past couple of months from like 50 subscribers to where I am now. Thank you, guys. Uh, I know Youth Man initially helped me out. Thank you, Youth Man. I really love you, man. You're, you're a great guy. I love your channel. I watch your channel all the time. Hey, guys, quit, quit sending that guy uh, mean mean, mean uh, uh, comments. Uh, he, he's too good a guy to be mean to. Uh, Michael, I love you, man. You're a great guy. But anyway, uh, if y'all help me out, let's, let's, let's get 1,000 subscribers. Let's give away that you, Mike. That's what I want to do. And uh, hopefully in maybe a month or two, uh, get some new subscribers in. That's what we'll do. All right. Well, guys, y'all have a good weekend and we'll see you again real soon.